Hey there everyone, it's Chris Lode again and in the screencast I'm going to uh, show you how to add voice, uh, recorded voice, to the characters on Scratch Junior app. So we've already, we've got a couple of characters here and if you haven't seen the previous uh, screencast I'm just going to reset and just show you what we have here. So the crab moves over, touches the fish, it jumps three times, the fish sends the purple message, the crab moves backwards and then the fish says thanks for not stepping on my fins. So what we want to do is we want to add students voices in here. So what I'm going to do is for the fish um, we're going to have a triggering block and again we're going to have the same triggering block being the reception of the red message. And But instead of having the speech bubble we're going to record our voice. Now there's the default uh, pop sound. Um, assuming you have the microphone, then you can record, our students can record their own voice. So we tap on the microphone and the little recording window will appear. This will allow you to uh, start recording and if this is the first time you're going to use this feature, a uh, little message will probably come up that will uh, I'll ask for access to the microphone. Say so Scratch Junior would like to access the microphone. Please say yes to this or okay. All right. Um, otherwise, we've got problems. We'll talk about those uh, privacy uh, problems later. Anyways, back to the recording. So I tap on this button. Thanks for not stepping on my fin. And then I press that button to stop it. And then I can press the check mark. So, I now have number one recording. You can't do anything to this number, it's just, you just have to remember that that is recording number one. I'm going to put it down there. I'm just going to test it out. So, I'll make sure my volume is up on my iPad. Tap on that. Alright, so test it out sounds good so now when that speech bubble appears so will the recorded voice uh, the recorded voice will start so let's reset everything and let's try it so we'll hit the green flag and let's see what happens here we go I just want to turn up my volume so I can hear things there we go. thanks for not stepping on my fin all right so that's how you would add a, uh, a voice to it. And you can have up to, I believe, five audio recordings in this. Now, what's going to happen, though, sometimes is that there will be no microphone there. And if that happens, you have to go into the settings to allow for the microphone to be accessed by this app. So to do that, you have to get out of the, out of the Scratch Junior app and into settings so go into my settings and down here would be uh, the privacy settings and then I would tap on the microphone and here underneath Scratch Junior you can see it is on. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to go back to Scratch Junior and it will reload and I'll reload my project and you will notice that when I have that there, the microphone is gone because I've turned that microphone access off. So we want to make sure I'm going to go back to my settings and turn it on. But um, so we go here. I want to turn those settings on. And I always say to the kids, while you're there, turn on all the microphone settings because chances are most of these apps will require the use of the microphone. So you're helping someone else down the road not have this problem. All right, so we go back to Scratch Junior app. At home, back to my project, and yes, I do have the microphone there. So, anyways, that's a little bit of troubleshooting if the microphone has not appeared there. So, hope hope you have some fun with this one. I'm sure you will, and I know your kids will. Thanks a lot. Bye.